Hello, and welcome to day two of the 12 days of Christmas. Um, again, if you didn't catch day one, which I posted yesterday, I'm trying to just show you some of the products that are going to be retiring out of the holiday mini catalog. Um, these are while supplies last, they will be gone for sure by, I think it's the third or fourth of January. Um, so some of them have already sold out. Some things have already sold out. Um, but this is the, let me just bring it over in the catalog. This is the spruced up bundle. So this is what it looks like in the catalog. And it is retiring. The dies are on sale. So if you want the bundle, don't buy the bundle. Buy the dies separately and the stamp set separately. And that will be cheaper than buying the bundle. Um, but that is all retiring. It's a really fun set. Um, I'm also trying to tell you some products that would be good gifts for stampers. And so today the product, and I'm trying to pull those out of the annual catalog so we don't have to worry about them um, selling out. But these are our adhesive sheets. And so it is um, adhesive. I don't want to pull it up too much, but there's adhesive here. And you put this on the back of a piece of cardstock. And then when you cut out real intricate pieces, they're very easy to glue, as you'll see when I put this card together. So this, I already showed you in the catalog, but what I'm using today is the spruce step. So here's the stamp set and the dies, and the dies are unique, and you will see that when we um, make this card. They're really a fun, really fun, something that I haven't seen before with Stampin' Up, but really fun. Um, so I'm sorry to see this one go, but there will be um, plenty of other new fun in the next holiday catalog. A few other things that I used, um, this is a couple of my go-to die sets. This is Stylish Shapes, yes, yeah, Stylish Shapes. I use this all the time, I used it for the sentiment here. And then the deckled rectangles are really fun, um, especially layering like this, it just gives it a little more texture. And then I love embossing folders. So I used two in this one. The first one is in the middle of this tree. This is the wintry. And so I just use the greenery there. So it just gives it a little more texture. And then the background of this cardstock is the Merry Melody. And I haven't tried or had my son try to play this song, so I don't know what it is. But I should have him try that sometime. But that's what's in the background on this crumb cake. So let's make this card. And you will see how great it is to have those adhesive sheets. So let me get all my little pieces. It seems like I've been doing cards with lots of little pieces. Actually, we need to stamp first, don't we? Let's do that. So again, this is a photopolymer stamp. So I'm going to use my, um, I always forget the name of this, this thing. My foam pad. It has an official name. Um, so the colors I used in this are Garden Green and Parakeet Party. And Parakeet Party is one of our newer in colors. It's just a nice, fun, bright green. So we're going to stamp this big tree with Parakeet Party. Just on a strip of basic white. Oops, I'm going to put the top of it inked up well enough. And while we're stamping, because we're going to die cut a couple of things, let's go ahead and stamp our greeting. So our outside greeting, using Garden Green for this. And this says, whatever brings you happiness. Doesn't have to be straight because we're going to die cut it. So, And our inside... Might as well stamp it while we're stamping. Is, and because this is a lighter cardstock and this is a darker green, I can get away with just stamping it right on here. May it be yours this holiday season. Usually I would have this folded already, but since we're stamping, we'll just stamp everything at once. All right, that is all of our stamping. Now I can put our ink pads away. Don't make a mess. I'm going to get rid of that. Okay, let's go ahead and fold this now before I forget. Set 
that aside and let's do our die cutting. Okay, let me move this. I kept my little rubber mat this time. I'm gonna scoot you up a little bit again. Um, yesterday when I did this, my um, cut and emboss machine was sliding because I didn't have my little mat underneath of it. Sorry, that was my heater kicking on if you heard that. All right, dies. We need our dies. So there's a large tree and a small tree. There's three ornaments. There's a present. I haven't played with the present yet. I really should have played with that for this, but I was having fun with the trees. So we're going to, and I'm going to use my post-it tape again. Because I want to be sure I have this centered. Oops. It's always hard to center it and then move your hand without moving it. Let's see that moved. <laughs> you know it's always harder when somebody's watching you. There. All right. Let's run this through. And now you'll see what's unique about this bundle. Oh, there it is right there. Let me take this tape off carefully. So it cuts out in one pass the outline and the tree. And then you can mix and match like I did on this. So let's set that aside. Somewhere over here. We have one more thing to die cut. Put this die back before I lose it. And let's get our sentiment. And for this, we'll use this smallest little banner from the Stylish Shapes. And it just fits on there. And it'll look like it's going to cut it off, but it won't. Because the actual cutting is a little bit outside of what you see on the inside. Looks much better when I have my rubber mat between beneath it. All right. So now we have our sentiment. Like I said before, I always turn those over just to help them keep from warping. All right, so now let's put all this away. And we can get back to making our card. And you'll see, can just get back down a little bit. You'll see how nice it is um, to use those adhesive sheets. I'm also using some Parakeet Party ribbon so before we do any of our little pieces, now we have these pieces to add to our stash over here. I'm gonna put my card back up here so you can kind of see. All right, we're, we're going to um, adhere this to our other piece and you can tell if it's right side up, if you don't read music, um, these should be on the left. Um, so that's that's right side up. I know not everybody reads music, so I wanted to let you know that. Because it's embossed, I'm going to use my liquid glue. And then before we put this on the card base, we will tie our ribbon around it. So tying a bow on camera is always a challenge. Now when it's thinner ribbon like this, I like to tie a knot first. If it's thick ribbon, you can't do this. But if it's thinner ribbon, you can. And that just gives you the ability to tie your bow without worrying about it getting loose. And I want this to be pretty much at the edge. 
And I have learned, we'll see if it works today, but often if you tie your bow upside down, then it looks better. Don't ask me why. I don't know. I would think it would be the same no matter which way you tied it. But for some reason, this does seem to work better. So I'm just making my loops a little bit smaller, tightening that up, and then when you turn it over, it's going the way you want it to. Okay. I might slide that over just a little bit more. Now we can put this on our card base. And we can trim those ends if we need to. Make sure it's going the right way. Yep. Yeah, we definitely need to trim those ends. I'm going all over the place. That's better. Okay, now, with these, hang on, let me get my pieces of trees. So I cut a big tree out of this designer series paper. This is the same um, candy cane paper that we used in the project yesterday. This is the one you just saw me stamp and cut. And then I cut this one out earlier and then just embossed the middle piece. So those are gonna stay together. These two I wanna switch. So I'm going to put the white around that and then that pattern went around this. Now, you could have run this through with um, the adhesive sheets and then you would have had a nice adhesive on the back of this, would have made it much easier. But I wanted these, you may not be able to tell, but they are popped up on dimensionals. So I didn't want to put adhesive all over the back. So what I found, <laughs> this is kind of my hack for it. I just turn them over get them lined up and then I take scotch tape and I just take some small pieces of scotch tape and just tape like one at the bottom and one at the top just making sure I get over both pieces so that'll just hold it together enough and then when you put dimensionals on you can kind of put it on the edges too so that's what I did with all three of these. Again, if you wanted them to be flat, you could use the adhesive sheets and that would be fine. That would make this a little bit easier, but I wanted them on dimensional, so this is what I did. And it's not hard. It just takes a couple minutes. And then this guy, let's make sure we are taping the back of him, not the front. So again, I just go across the bottom and then one small piece towards the top. Just making sure I catch both edges. All right, so now let's lay those on our card where we want them before we start adhering them. So I wanted this guy here, this guy here, and then him in the middle kind of overlapping. So, I'm gonna grab my dimensionals. Here they are. And so I'll put one dimensional, I have a, this one doesn't seem to wanna to leave the bottom part with it. Come on, not you. There we go. I put one on the top and I just tried to make sure that it was on the edge, on that rim also and then one on the bottom. No, I put two on the bottom. One in each corner on these bigger ones. Again, just make sure it's kind of over. You don't want it to go too far over, but that'll help adhere it also, to adhere them together. And that guy always gets in the way. I did that when I was making this earlier. All right. Same thing with this. One at the top. And I'm just putting it on the opposite side of where I put the scotch tape as an added reinforcement. Here we go. That one will 
I'll go there. And then because this is going to overlap, I just put one in the middle, top and bottom. And we got a little bit of tape sticking out there, don't we? I don't want that. Oops. All right. So there are our trees. Now we're ready for our lights. And I just strung them all the way across all three. And I did I just used gold foil just for something fun. And then stars. I had three cut out and then one of them flipped somewhere I couldn't find it so I cut another one and of course once I did that I found the other one so let's so these have that adhesive backing so you just grab it pull that off and now that is a sticker so so much easier than trying to put glue on that so this is this adhes these adhesive sheets are just fabulous. Like I said, I just put it behind on my cardstock, ran it through the dye machine, and now there is adhesive. I love it. All right, and we don't care if it how it looks in the middle. We more are more worried about it just coming from the edge of the tree, because our sentiment, oops, is going to cover up that mess in the middle. All right, and then we also have stars. I may be glad I have an extra one if I drop them. So just one at the top of each tree. I thought about just putting one on the middle tree, but I decided they all needed a star. There we go. And then last is our sentiment. We could even put that other star on the inside. That would be fun. Since we have an extra one, we might as well. So I'm probably off screen. Just put some green glue in the middle of this so that it'll stick easily to all of this. Just put that right in the middle. Hold it for just a minute until, it, until that glue catches. And then let's put this star on the inside. Since we have an extra one, we might as well. There. A little extra bonus for them. So there you go. There is our day number two of the 12 days of Christmas. Um, so again, this is the spruced up bundle that is retiring. that and the dies, those fun dies, and our product that would be good for um, all stampers are the adhesive sheets, and they come, I think there's 12 in here, I believe there's 6 by 12, yeah, so you can get a lot of use, there's 12 sheets of this, and there's 6 by 12, you can get a lot of use out of this, it will last you for a long time, but it made that so much easier to adhere than trying to put glue on each of those pieces. So I hope you enjoyed that and look for my next one tomorrow. Thank you.